Hello there monsters and men, ladies and people, and welcome to recharging. Yes, you see it right. Behind me is a green charger and on that sign over there are German words. You know what that means, it is time for a top speed range test. And this time with the Hyundai, I'm sorry, Hyundai, the what? The Hyundai Ionic 6. This Ionic 6 is the long range version, so that means a WLTP range of more than 600 kilometers. Yeah, that is a lot. And one of the reasons it can do that is because this car has a drag coefficient of only 0.21. And trust me, that is low. And if you have a low drag coefficient, means you have an efficient car at higher speeds. And trust me again, this car is efficient. But from experience, a car can only do its top speed for around an hour. So I think this Hyundai Ionic 6 will be no exception. But I have good hopes that this is the first car that I test that can do its top speed for more than an hour. What is its top speed then? Its top speed is 185 kilometers. So that means the estimated range while driving top speed for this car will be 185 kilometers. But again, hopefully it can do more. The conditions are pretty much perfect though. It is 20 degrees and there is barely any wind. So the car is charging up and then let's go. All right, here's the famous junction where normally I will go straight onto the Autobahn, but this time I'm going left. And why is that? That is because this run I will be driving south. And the reason for that is that if I would be driving north, I have more chance of rain. And I don't want rain because rain is dangerous when, what the hell? That was the music, I don't want the music on. Anyway, rain is dangerous when you drive 185 kilometers an hour. Trust me, you don't want that. You want as dry conditions as possible. And that's the reason why I am going south this time. So let's turn on the Autobahn here. This is not the performance version, this is the long range version. So I think a acceleration of around seven seconds. So this car is not insanely quick, but it is efficient and I like efficient cars more than I like fast cars. So let's floor it. It's not in sport mode, but let's floor it. 100, 10, 20, 30. It accelerates fine. It accelerates absolutely fine. Gets a bit more noisy in here, but still, because this car is so aerodynamic, it's not that bad actually, the noise. It's not that bad. I have no idea. What is my top speed here? I think it's also unlimited. I'm driving very fast. 185, but it's still going and it stops at 190. 190 kilometers per hour is the absolute top speed of this car. That Tesla is also going quick and well, this is the test. Let's go. All right, a quick update because I have to drive slower because of roadworks, I think. Yeah, Baustelle, yeah. I mean, there are all signs that I have to drive slower. so. I will just follow the Germans now. But anyway, the car has used 20% state of charge and on that 20% I have done 48 kilometers. So it seems like right now that the car can do 240 kilometers while driving top speed. And that is actually very good. But the state of charge scale on Korean cars is not linear. So this will go down, but will it go down as much as 285 kilometers? Only time will tell. One German is already going. Um, maybe it's done. Maybe that was the roadworks, that one car over there. I think so. Let's follow those Germans. Those Germans are going faster. Now I want to go faster, yeah. Yeah, that is a very terrible German accent. Uh, all right. As I can see, I'm battling headwind. I can see that for because of the wind turbines. So I'm battling headwind. So when I go north again, things should be better. So yeah, we will see. This is, yeah, efficient car, efficient car. All right, braking for the turnaround point. Also the dark is, the dark, the sky is very dark up here. It is raining a bit. So time to get the hell out of here because I don't like rain. Hey, this is the point where I started with the Neo ET7. Wow, I have driven quite a distance, 71 kilometers. 
Not bad, not bad. I said less chance of rain while driving south, not no rain, because while there are cloud storms, showers, I don't know the correct word, showers, there are showers everywhere in the Netherlands and in the west of Germany. Damn, this is difficult. Anyway, turnaround points. The car has used 30% state of charge and I have done 70 kilometers on that 30%. So 24 kilometers is gone. It is now less, around 23. So again, it is going down, going down. What did I mean by 24 and 23 kilometers? I meant 240 kilometers of range and 230 kilometers of range. Yeah, this is one complicated story, I know. Power! There was a Mercedes. When I drove south, there was a Mercedes in my back. I mean, that guy was going 220, 230. Man, there are always, there's always someone going faster than you. Another thing, the wipers don't like driving 190 kilometers per hour. They can't wipe that fast. Anyway, I have tailwind now, so the consumption should go down. So yeah, this should be a good run. This should be a good run. This is not a good run, people, not a good run. It is so insanely busy. It is never this busy on this highway. Autobahn, something in Germany where you can drive fast. I mean, I don't know why. I mean, I can barely drive top speed. This guy wants to outrace me. Well, you can do that. Just drive 190 kilometers an hour, you're fine. There's a Mercedes in my rear that really wants to pass, but I think it's a electric one. So it really can't go a lot faster than I do. Let's see who can. It wants to race, it wants to race. 190. Yeah, it, it can go faster than me. It can go. I think. Yep. Oh, that one can do 200, I think. 220. There was another Mercedes. No, it's the same driver. Yo, the Mercedes is going faster than I do. It's Mercedes. Not Mercedes. I'm sorry. Mercedes. Like a German would say. There's another car. Damn, this is difficult. Okay, I talked really quickly there. Hopefully you could understand something. Nope, the Mercedes is doing, yeah, I think it's doing 200. It's probably doing 200. Because, well, it's, it's not gaining on me. It's going further away. So I'm doing 190, he's doing 200 kilometers an hour, people. 200 kilometers an hour. It is happening, people, it is happening. The same thing is happening to this Ionic 6 as I had with the Kia EV6. I cannot do 190 kilometers per hour anymore. I don't get full power. The reason for that was, I think, or the battery was too warm or the motor was too warm. So the car throttled me. And again, the same thing is happening. I'm not getting full power. The car can now do 185 kilometers an hour instead of 190. Same architecture, same drivetrain, same thing is happening. Yep, 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 yep. And because the power is limited, the acceleration goes so slow and there goes a the Mercedes again. Oh, I'm losing this. This is terrible. See you later, German. Damn. Also while accelerating, not only my top speed is limited, just my overall power is limited. So also the acceleration is going slower. Damn, damn. I said I had perfect conditions, right? Well, it started to rain, but during my test, I barely had any rain. When I left here, well, it was cloudy, but it was a bit sunny. You could see the sun through the clouds. And as soon as I turned around, I drove into a black sky and I thought, yeah, this isn't good, this isn't good. But again, during my test, I barely had any rain, so that is good. So then the test itself. I have to say though, it wasn't the most purest test because, well, it was actually quite busy on the Autobahn and therefore I couldn't drive top speed as much as I like to because, well, I want to floor the accelerator pedal all the way during my whole test and I just couldn't do that, it was too busy. But I can also not redo the test because, well, the conditions are a lot worse at the moment and I don't want to drive top speed when it is raining. That is pretty dangerous. Don't do that. And also, this car has the same behavior as the Kia EV6. So I think when the battery reaches a certain temperature, it will throttle you. 
and therefore I couldn't drive top speed the whole time. At first I could do 190 km per hour, but on my way back the car was throttling, throttling me and I could only do, I don't know, 175, 180, 185. It depends on if you're going uphill, going downhill, if the battery cooled down a little bit again. So I couldn't redo the test because that test would be even less pure than this one. So I will just give you the result of this test. I started the test with 83% state of charge and I arrived at the charge. Well, that's not true, sorry, because I didn't arrive at the charger with 19%. I stopped my test at 19% because it started to rain quite badly. So that means during my test, I have used 64%. On that 64%, I have done 139.2 kilometers. So you can do in summer with the Hyundai Ioniq 6 while driving top speeds, 218 kilometers. But again, I didn't drive top speed the whole way. So you, you have to subtract a little bit of this. So I think around 200 kilometers, that is my result, 200 kilometers. So the same thing applies to this car as to any other car. You can do or you can drive one hour top speed and then the battery is empty. This Ionic 6 is no exception. The average consumption was 35.9 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers. And yes, in winter you can do less than 200 kilometers. That's just the name of the game. Yeah. So that was the test. I hope you liked it. And if you did, well, give a like and subscribe. And if you feel like to, leave a comment. And then I would like to say now, thank you a lot for watching. And as always, to be continued.